So on Sunday mornings, my little boys love to have crepes. And I make them gluten-free because of my four-year-old. This is just a mix of three different kinds of gluten-free flour and a tiny bit of something called xanthan gum that makes the crepe hold together when it's gluten-free. But you can make these crepes so easily with just plain flour and maybe a little bit of wheat bran, if you like that, to add a bit of fiber. It's pretty easy. You just crack some eggs. I've used three of them for the gluten-free crepes. But for the other ones, you can do it with less. And of course, it depends how many children you're trying to feed. Some milk and some vanilla. And then you just take a little hand whisk like this and mix it up. Now I'm gonna turn my stove on and I have a flat pan here called a crepe pan, and I'm just gonna get that nice and warm. And basically, you just wanna keep adding this until you get the consistency of kind of liquidy, runny honey. And I'll show you when we get there. Okay, so that's the consistency. It looks a bit runny. It's definitely not as thick as pancake mixture, but basically, you're gonna see why it needs to be runny when we start to make our crepes. So I'm just putting a little bit of butter on the pan, and I'm gonna let that melt. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit of crepe batter onto my pan. They fight over who gets the first crepe. Then we just wanna wait until we start to see the edges getting brown and we're gonna flip it over. I've got my Nutella ready. I put a little bit of Nutella. I have a German grandmother and she used to give us a small amount of Nutella on rye bread. And that taste for me, even the smell of this, is like the smell of my childhood years. 